Hello, my art scholars. This is Miss Han, and today we're going to do the Kandinsky circle. Okay, so the first thing you'll need, and my name is Miss Han. Uh, the first thing, uh, here are the supplies that you'll be needing today. You will need a set of oil pastels, look something like this. Okay, and I today have the package of 16 oil pastels. The more you have, the better, but today we have 16. And you also need a scrap piece of paper to protect the surface that you're working on so you don't stain it. And what you need is also a tissue to wipe your hands. Okay. So the first thing you do is um, you're going to get a piece of paper that's about this size. It's like a half of a computer paper. And what you do is you take it and you're going to make eight little uh, squares. So we fold it once and we fold it again. Make sure that you match the corners very well and then you crease it with your fingernail. When you open it, you'll have four rows or four columns. And then take the paper, match the corners again, and put it down. Use your finger to crease, make your crease, and open it up. So what you have really, when you fold it up, is one square. But when you open it up, you'll have eight squares or rectangles little more like rectangles okay so once you have that okay, and I have one already prepared this is what we're going to be doing and I've already uh, completed about five of the squares so we start by just making um, a circle in the center and then around it we change the color and make more circles around that and you want to vary the colors. You want to use contrasting colors, which means um, you can use a warm color and then use a cool, bright color, right? So I had the brown, kind of a dark, a uh, warmer color, and I turned to a little brighter pink, and then a darker purple, and a brighter orange. Okay, and then after you're done with the circles, you fill in the background, color in the background with your oil pastels. Now the circles can be various sizes. Okay, so you can have a thin circle or you can have a thick circle. And then they can also have, uh, they can be, they don't have to be perfect. This one's a little ovalish and that turns out really great as well. Okay, and you'll notice the background, I select contrasting colors. I have a light green to a dark brown to a red to a lighter yellow to a darker blue. So always use contrasting colors. And let me do about the last three for you and show you how that works. So I choose my oil pastel and any color that I really like. And I haven't really seen orange around this area, so I want to make a big orange in the center. Around the orange, then, I want kind of a, um, a darker color because orange is pretty bright. And try to Try to make sure that none of the whites are showing as much as you can. So now I'm going to have um, a little brighter color. And this time I'm going to do a pink. And for this one, I think I'm going to do a thin line. And so for the outside, I know I'm not going to use blue or red or yellow. So maybe I will try, I think I'm going to try a green again. But this time, maybe a darker green. So this green. I'm going to try to keep it as, I'm going to try to color in one direction. This is really dark, right, when I can, and keep in one direction. Sometimes I'll provide a line to guide me, and that's okay too. Okay, and sometimes I will do a line outside that uh, pink, just outline it a little bit. You can see I'm trying not to get too much uh, crayon on my oil pastel on my fingers. So I'm trying to hold it nicely.
So that's what it looks like.